<laughs> Good morning. Morning. And welcome to a brand new, very mini vlog series. Um, it might be one, it might be two. I don't think it's going to be any more than two. Um, no, especially if it rains. Yeah if, you, okay. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't guessed, we are in the car. We are on a train. <laughs> yeah, we're on the Euro Tunnel. Um, we are heading to Disneyland Paris. It's very, very early in the morning. You listen to the words right in my mouth. Look at that. <laughs> it's not quite 4.15. It's a car and always goes an hour back. Yeah, it's 5.15. It's 5.15, but we have been up since 3 because we wanted to get on the first reasonable time train that wasn't the one that's 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, yeah, it's one an hour, isn't it? Between midnight and 6. Yeah. We are on the... Well, we're off to Disneyland Paris because our annual pass has expired and we wanted new ones because we have a couple of trips planned over the next year so um, the only thing that we could do was go in person to pick them up yeah um, not the annoying thing about being uh, British you can't use the French website and even though we, tri we did love them to we tried but, uh, we just couldn't get it to work so we're going to pick up our passes um, we also want to see the Halloween stuff that's happening because it looks quite good from what we've seen we haven't seen loads but what we have seen looks good. Yeah, we want to see um, what the Avengers campus looks like over there. Obviously. So, um, if you're new here, I'm Katie. I'm Dee. And come with us to Disneyland Paris. Let's go! On board, my name's Ian, one of the crew travelling with you this morning. Today we're travelling at 140 kilometres per hour through the tunnel. We expect to make the crossing in about 35 minutes. roundabout way getting on the train today um it's very unusual but we ended up having to go through extra security checks along with 90 percent of the people so it was very slow yeah it was really slow going through the passport it, but it was really random today. when they chose not to go through it was like one car out of ten that yeah. didn't go yeah so screw um, it was just had like your um uh Steering wheel. Steering wheel. That was our windscreen. Hello, your steering. This thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your steering wheel swapped. Um, and then passport control was quite slow. We literally got on the train with about eight minutes to spare, but it was fine. I don't think there were that many cars behind us actually. No. Um, obviously, we saw the one, but then they closed the bit between, so I don't quite know how to move further back. Yeah, not sure. Um, the toilets are definitely reopened on the Euro Tunnel. Yeah, they told us where they were. Very exciting. Um, last time we came, they'd literally just reopened them. It was like breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, are open. it's nice that things are really returning to normal. Um, we have got the iPad set up. We um, are going to watch a little bit of The Incredibles. Um, we haven't said actually where we're staying. So tonight we're doing a split stay just because um, budgets and availability and we've had reservations. Some, we've had, yeah, we've had some nightmares with um, annual pass reservation systems. Um, it doesn't help because we've gone back to temporary passes. We've only booked one day, and, and then everything is so booked out at the moment. Um, so we've had to book one night on site just to guarantee us getting into the parks tomorrow. Sunday we haven't got a reservation. Hopefully um, we can book that today, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. It's only a, like we still stop tour. Yeah, exactly. We got pretty decent deal on our Euro Tunnel. The annual pass is just going to start off like paying for itself after one and a bit um, trips. And, and did we say what they've done with the annual passes? We didn't. We didn't. If you follow us on Instagram, you will have seen this because I'll have done a story. Because we get married this year, and Disneyland Paris may or may not be included in our wedding celebrations. Um, we, we're not getting married. Oh, no, we're not getting married in Disneyland Paris. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. have that much money. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know if you could get married in Disneyland Paris. I'm actually sure, able to. Sure you can. Um, <laughs> But um, we have decided to upgrade to Infinity. Um, we were looking into it. We got a renewal rate. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a video on annual passes at some point and all the ins and outs of the gonna, If you're going to upgrade, it's the best time to do it because you get a 20% discount if you upgrade within a three month window. Yeah. But be mindful if you don't live in France and can't pick them up straight away, you go back to temporary passes. So then you can only book you one day instead of three. Yeah, so it's better. System. I don't agree with either because you can buy a day ticket still. Yeah, it is mad. Um, 
but so basically you pay for a product you can't use yeah but you get extra discounts on infinity and we've got an absolute bargain for a future trip um which basically makes one of the passes completely worth it just by that saving um so it's very exciting we're gonna see what perks we get because we've never had it before we we had magic plus before so very excited to see what that brings us and um, we'll bring you along with us so that you can see and we can sort of work out together <laughs> if it's actually worth the extra investment but say just bear in mind we did get it at a 20% discount and the way our annual pass falls we got it before the price increases which yeah. is something because they increased you know, October didn't they and yeah we, we uh, always end passes. of September we're staying at Davy Crockett tonight. We have never been there. We've never stayed there. And we were looking it up earlier and it, it actually looks really good. Yeah. We'll go for a swim. Yep. We brought our swimming stuff with us. There's a the bar. We, I think we decided we probably won't go all the way till tonight at no. the park just because we've been up early. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we just fancy having a bit of a see what we can do, but also just chilled couple of days. Because apparently it's been crazy Very busy this week. The, um, it's meant to rain. Um, it's going to be crazy busy going forward because it's half term. Yeah, but you know what? Let's see what we can get done in a busy, rainy Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Where would you rather be? At home in the rain or in Disney in the rain? Exactly. So we will also see how much that we can actually vlog because if it's really raining, we won't be able to get the camera out much. We've got our waterproofs, we've got umbrellas, we've got boots. We are all set to be able to weather the weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for now, my ears have gone. <laughs> I can't so really hear anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're, they're popping, we're probably, I don't know if we're shouting, I don't know if we're being quiet, um, but let's watch a little bit of Incredibles, because otherwise, before we know, we're going to be in France. There we are. <laughs> because there is no evidence to show that I've driven the whole way apart from the final 39 minutes. Well there is because literally we've just stopped and I will agree she's literally <laughs> just hand over the wheel. So for my first time I'm proud of myself. We've been through the tolls, we've gone through rain and dry, we've had the debate of what like um, speed you do because it's variable speed, variable, variable, variable yeah. speed depending on the weather and when it's just been like misty what does it mean like do you do the lower we've been doing the lower just to be on the safe side um we are literally just going under charles de gaulle runway which is just above us here and oh oh and runway two that would have been cool if the plane had been going over. Yeah, we saw one last Yeah, time, we, we did. Um, we are 38 minutes away. We can go straight to the park because we've got our day reservations um, and we've got our temporary passes. Then we need to pick up our permanent ones at some point. Yes, that's the plan for today. That, ironically, is probably going to be one of the longest queues that we enjoy. Yeah, I imagine so. But we shall see. Um, but yeah, the journey's gone really well. Um, currently at time of travel it is i don't even know what day of the week is what friday it's the friday. what's the date today 14th 14, 13 14? no 14th the 14th yeah so for what we're lucky about friday 13th oh oh yeah uh 14th <laughs> <Doesn't believe me. laughs> 14th friday the 14th of october and um there have been fuel strikes in france for the last two weeks which has meant that fuel has been really difficult to get. Um, our friends, Helena and Martin, um, I'm sure you know them, fab vlogs, we will leave them linked below. Um, they gave us a heads up that there was a fuel strike, otherwise we'd have had no idea, so we have planned accordingly. Um, if, because hopefully this vlog is gonna go live this week, if there is still a, um, a strike, we will put up on Instagram some like hints and tips that we found. Um, Stop on the toll road. But yeah, stop on a toll road. Um, we they had fuel. We had no queues. Yeah, I don't know if we got lucky or what, but on a toll road, no queue. Yeah. We come off where we just stopped yeah. um, for another break, and there were massive queues. Yeah, I mean, it didn't take still, too long. No, 
it's still not too bad because like all the pumps look like they were working so there is fuel but what we've heard is that like in villages or all around disney itself i know helena and martin had to queue for an hour and a half to get some fuel yesterday they did get some um oh there's a massive long queue the other side of the road as well so there are queues oh the first disney side <laughs> but yeah there is fuel it's just about where to get it but we found toll road absolutely best place to get it and now we shouldn't have to fill up again because we've got more than enough to get us to disneyland paris to and from the park for the couple of days um, and get us back to england we have though also got a little jerry can with us it's got 10 liters in it just in case yeah because we didn't want to get stuck we are here <laughs> I'm so excited. Everything looks really bright as well. Um, the it's weather, not. It's grim. <laughs> yeah, the weather is horrendous, but the wait times at the moment are pretty low. So we checked about 10 minutes ago, and Hyperspace Mountain was still a five-minute wait when the park had been open for an hour and a half. So and fingers crossed. Been popping up at the moment. Yeah. So we didn't really think that we had any hope of any dining reservations not that we were that fussed about that to be honest but um i just was like oh i'm gonna have a little look and quite a few have popped up um they're going quite quickly so i think it's just literally luck of the draw um and when you're on the app but we managed to get um, a reservation for the Manhattan restaurant in the Art of Marvel Hotel. I am so excited. Never ever been able to get that before. A time popped up. It might mean that we miss the start of the villain show on the castle tomorrow night, but depending on the weather, we may actually forgo that because we were very lucky to see a similar one in Disney California a couple of weeks ago. So I am excited. We might be having a date night tomorrow night. Maybe. Um, but for now, yeah, Hello, Dis I got out already. Oh, she's, she's Hello, Disney. That was insanely chaotic. Um, so but many there people. Was, there are no queues. Just a crowd of people slowly, like, yeah. making their way into queues. And the annual pass entrance is tucked right in the corner, so it's actually really hard to get to. Um, yeah, that was mental. That was so disorganized. Um, Disney had it down last time. Things seem to be different. <laughs> I don't know why. It's less cast members. Yeah, quite possibly. Same um, with everywhere. So we have um, found out that we can exchange our paper tickets for our actual annual passes um, from midday. So Pir no, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean's got a 10 minute wait. So does Phantom or maybe Phantom's got five actually. So they're the two rides we're gonna go for. Then maybe grab some lunch and then maybe queue to get our annual passes. Oh, there are just queues everywhere. Oh, that's for guest relations. Um, yeah, just a little bit chaotic. Oh, we can't hear each other <laughs> because we've got our hats on. And we probably won't be able to film very much because it is soaking, but. You are saying stuff on here, what you're saying, yeah, it's okay. That's literally around. just what I said. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to make the best of what we can, show you what we can, and yeah, we're in Disneyland Paris. I am very, very excited. <laughs> All the characters are still out. I'm impressed they're just under oh, umbrellas. Yeah. Um, they're just under umbrellas. I thought all of that would be cancelled. So that is a win. And one thing we do love about Disneyland Paris is the arcade. Perfect for wet and cold weather. <laughs> We have been able to stay undercover from the ticket machine so far all the way to Riverboat Landing and pretty close to Phantom. I'm quite impressed with that. You're pretty doing a good job. Um, oh, what is this a queue for? Oh, well, this is thing that queues everywhere. That is not for Phantom, so we're all good. We can make it great. Yes, I think you're right. They don't have the sticks here like they do in America. Well, the old, this is the end of the line. Yeah, so we need to get through here. Ooh. And I am going to say that is it Jack Skellington or like Phantom Mickey. Let's have a... We'll see when we go up. But that queue... It's, it's huge! Not true, it only goes to there. Well, yeah, Trey, who is it? And so in the space of what, 10 minutes? Yeah. And the queue jumps up to 30 minutes. Yeah. I reckon what it is, is Big Thunder Mountain's gone down and everyone's gone, oop, let's yeah. go into those queues. Phantom is not a 30 minute queue for us. That is like five, 10 minutes. 
You can actually buy Premier Access for that for five pounds. We won't be doing, or five euros. We won't be doing that because there will be a time when we can get on that when it's quieter. But already... Very, very rarely is that more than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already though, change of plan. <laughs> Who are we without changes of plans? <laughs> Um, that's what our first thing of the trip has been. Yeah. <laughs> um, we kept dancing riots and every time we went there we were And then just the queue jumped up and we both decided we are flagging that we need to do. Yeah. So, cases is a little bit of a tradition. And then we need to go pick up our annual pass because annoyingly they wouldn't accept our um, temporary pass. These temporary passes are absolutely useless. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure last time we came here we used a temporary pass. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, they won't let us use it, so we need to go get that because otherwise every time we want to buy anything we can't get our discount. We've let this one go because we were like, can't be bothered. It's only it, it, it's under three euros. Well. Yeah, but um that's really frustrating and um the lady wasn't particularly pleasant about it. Um she actually just walked off. Yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah, leaving it? the poor guy being like, I'm really sorry because it wasn't his call but yeah, so not the most magical start, however, we move, we will eat this, we will go get our annual pass and then we'll see what we do with our afternoon. I'm hungry. Yeah, so let's eat. <laughs> that was very nice. I did that. Really, really good. Yeah. Controversially, maybe, I don't know. We Red Florida. Yeah, we really like the one here. Not so much the Florida one. Um, but that was really good. We had the nacho barbecue and caramelised onion and the cheese one, I think it was. Yeah, cheese, crispy onion. Yes. Um, and bar uh, something else. Yeah. Ketchup or mustard. Um, the rain has held for a little bit, so we are hoping that the Halloween show is going to be on. And we have just been messaging our friends Helena and Martin, who are here, and they said they that they're going to... They should have been here, but they are. No, but they are. Real strike. It's actually, we're quite thankful for it, because it means that we get to see them. Um, we're going to meet them, and we're going to watch the Halloween show together before they head off home, and we go get and our annual passes. Cool. Yeah. And we decide what on earth to do with the rest of our day because we are in a little bit of a daze. I'm not gonna lie. We'll probably be able to tell from this actually. We're just a bit, <laughs> we're a bit all over the place, I think, in terms of. Yeah. Through it. Yeah, and just trying to acclimatise back into Disney. Well, we haven't been away for that long. No, this is true, but Two weeks. Paris is very different to California as then different Walmart. to. <laughs> yeah, Disney World. So, uh, yeah, yeah for you, so much warmer. It is. So much and less rain. I miss Genie Plus. <laughs> yeah. We were just looking actually because you can get a premiere pass, which is like all of the rides, like the big hits, apart from Marvel. And we were like, oh. Uh, we gave you a um, storm thing, didn't it? Did it not? I didn't give you any um, of them. Stuff. You can buy it individually. Anyway. Um, and so we were like, oh, you know, Tower of Terror, Space Mountain, Buzz, like all ones that we probably would consider doing. Um, on a Friday, it's 120 euros. On a Saturday, it's 160 each. So we were like... That's, that's the equivalent of 16 per ride. There's only 10 rides. Yep. Wow. And cheaper to buy them individually. But not all of them are actually on the individual. Oh, um, yeah, this is true. So, it depends what them, isn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, we're not doing it. But no. you're like, oh.
show was really cute. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it, it, that. It kind of got a similar vibe to Dream Giant Brighter. Yeah, I don't think it was as wow. Um, no, because it, they don't swap around. Yeah, but the costumes, um, the music, the song was really cute. This thing just does a good Halloween. Oh, yeah, I love it. And we got to spend time with Helena and Martin. We didn't put them um, in the vlog because we were having too much fun having a very quick bonus catch up with them. Well, insert meant, the picture. <laughs> they're meant um, to be, have gone yesterday. Yeah, so they're literally just leaving and we're coming in. So I'm so glad that we got to see them. We'll make sure they're linked below so that you can um, follow along. We have our infinity passes. We caved, we bought um, the Iron Man Coaster Premier Pass. Just to make up for the fact that we just waited an hour and ten minutes in a queue. Still don't understand what was going on for an hour and ten minutes. I know, I know. There's only like seven people in front of us. I know. Um, but we're in, it's in like five minutes. So we're going to wander through Avengers Campus for the first time. Uh, go ride that ride. Maybe head back into Disneyland for a little bit. I feel like I want a snack. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, I think maybe we head to the bakery. Yeah, that's a fancy looking umbrella. I thought for a second his umbrella's broken. Yeah, so this is fancy. Um, I think the bakery that has the best snacks. So I think we're going to head there and then probably go check into David Crockett. Yeah, this place. In terms of rides, it's been a bit of a bust. Oh, it's been an absolute bust. This is like the worst day for rides we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really busy. We had to queue for our annual pass. Which was the main objective this of whole coming. weekend, really. And we knew that this was going to be the case. But for now, Avengers Campus. I don't know if different side. I think it's smaller. Yeah, and it's, it's also it's the other way around. Different styling. <laughs> I lost you. Oh. Oh. Couldn't work out where exactly the wash because the colour of the suit. Oh. oh look, one big difference here to California, all the PIM um, lab seating is indoors. Oh, that's nice. Oh is it? Oh okay. I think. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can. Marvel's up there. There's some there. Not quite oh, yeah, the same. That blue bread. Oh yeah, the giant pretzel. That sandwich is different. It's a giant pretzel sandwich, aren't we? I wonder. I don't know if you can book. I don't. I think it might just be a walk-in. First ride of the trip. Completely unrecognisable to rock and roller coaster. It's work out where it way it used to come in. Yeah. I really can't remember. No, it's mad. <laughs> right, let's go. Look, I have one of our first vlogs. Yeah. As everyone is just like huddled under whatever they can. The campus is so cool. Yeah, it's good. Like, I just wish it wasn't raining so that we could like enjoy it a little bit more. But it is very, very cool. Very modern. It's huge. Um, Been a Mr. Trick though with Mr. Kitchen. Mr. Trick, I haven't got the, the chicken burger. Oh, that chicken burger was yeah. so good. But there are, there's, I don't know, there's like a test lab over there. There's two dining here. There's shops. There's meant to be loads of shows, but the weather is sort of. Um, you know, we're just about to kick off the show and I've been accounted in. Which is completely understandable because this weather is horrendous. <laughs> You're having to be at not a very flattering angle. Sorry. <laughs> but we're just trying to vlog what we can. And to be honest, it's not going to be very much. <laughs> system will lock onto. He's loaded the transponders into his hypersonic vehicles. So you'll fly the hypersonics and draw the missiles away from the planet. That's when Heavy Metal and I can do our thing. When you have activated the missiles to the port, the inverse is more than the most dangerous. They are really close to the Earth. We don't have the right to go. Unfortunately, Tony's right. We've got one chance to save the planet. So no pressure. Everyone has a good plan. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Recruits, before you can save the planet, you'll need to continue on for your safety briefing. Thoughts on that? Really good road coaster. Screen lead work. Yeah, I can completely see what people are saying around the screens, but oh my god, that was a 
an amazing roller coaster. The, the first 20 seconds of that coaster is incredible. Yeah, we. Like the lighting is correct. Like it literally, it's almost like they got the first 20 seconds so spot on that when you come to the screen, you're like, yeah. You didn't spend enough money on the screen. I think everything is so impressive, as you say, up to after like the first 20 seconds of the roller coaster and then it is like they went oh we ran out of budget let's just stick some screens in but um we were so lucky we got front row that oh that was insane and then uh, we, we said you know we think they've replaced the ride vehicles are the same ride vehicles but we think they've like smoothed them out because yeah. it was such a smooth coaster yeah. oh i don't remember it being that smooth when it was rock and roller coaster no definitely not it was way more intense um, as well. I think it didn't help the fact you, you can't see where you're going. <laughs> no, it is pretty much pitch black throughout. Um, that was so good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I absolutely loved that. Um, so yes, we did pay 12 euros each for it, but it's potentially the only ride we're going to get on today and it is what it is. It is. Yeah. It's a busy day. It is an insanely busy day. I mean, they've added, they've reopened the coast and they've added Spider-Man. All the rides in this park are still 75 minutes plus. Yeah. 175 minutes for Tower of Terror. Not the one. Um, so I don't even know how much you're gonna hear us. I'm really sorry. This is just gonna be a vlog that we're having to adapt to the weather. <laughs> you're not gonna see much of us. It's gonna be loud from the rain. So <laughs> I know. Um, let's go get started. Yeah. You all go that way though. Yeah, let's do it. They are up in their game with snacks. That sounds really nice, the noodles. Um, but yeah. Egg yolk. That's going to be like meringue. That's how they describe meringue. Uh, it is egg yolk. Meringue's egg white. Yeah. yeah. Almost sound like it's going to be like a Scotch egg. <laughs> in the comments, is this diner new? We're pretty sure it is. It's been repurposed. Yeah pretty sure it is new i don't remember there ever being anything down because this is where you used to go into yeah, lights yeah, camera motor camera action yeah. thing because yeah then you're at the back of yeah, tower of terror yeah, yeah i think that's new yeah yeah this is 100 percent new. Yeah. absolutely we've come into the disney dream factory, dream factory. Show. I'm over the three, I'm over the show. It's such a good show. It's so good. We've seen this video on the times. Um, we just happened to be here at the right time, managed to get a seat, no problem. It's inside. So, yeah, yeah. And we just love it. So, um, yeah, we're going to show you some footage. We do. Our niece absolutely loves Minnie Mouse. So, we're going to get a lot of footage. Yeah. Um, we are really excited to show you lots of good ideas. I think Minnie and Mickey were two of those. But probably. I'm so proud. Literally so proud. <laughs> we we call for See you. 
That was so good. I thought you were going to say love cues. Oh, well, yeah. Um, so, because we've got our infinity pass now, which is very exciting, we get photo pass included for the whole year. Uh, it isn't that uh, intuitive <laughs> as to where you get your photo pass no, from. It's a separate card. Yeah, um, which they don't issue when you get your annual pass. So, we have found that if you walk into the studios on the left, hand side there is the shop which actually in my opinion is one of the best shops yeah but you can't go to the field at this end you've got to go to two in the middle yeah <laughs> <laughs> which we didn't know so you up twice. yeah so that was fun <laughs> um, a lot of queuing today we have done about a lot. three hours worth yeah I'd only been on one ride. <laughs> <laughs> but we knew that today was going to be a bit of an admin day, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it just seems to be part and parcel of getting an annual pass. It is so worth it once it's all done. But, but yeah, the first day is a day of pain. Yes. Um, we were going to go back into the Disneyland park, but I think we're flagging. Yeah. Um, we quite want to go and check into David Crockett, we want to have a look at our cabin and hopefully Sport. go yeah and hopefully go swimming. Um, we, we think it's open until quarter past nine. It's got like a whirlpool and slides and things. Um, we haven't got a waterproof camera so <laughs> so we won't um, be able to take you with us but we will be able to show you around what we can at David Crockett which is exciting so let's head back to the car and go check in and I'm really excited because we have never been to this resort no we've been next door to the village of nature yeah we've never been to this one yeah so very very excited but yeah let's go check in let's go get our, our cabin and get some food and just have a chill day <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Take the first exit. Oh, is it the park? It is so easy to get to the David Crockett Ranch. It's literally one straight road, and I mean like a completely straight road. Um, it's right next door to Village of Nature. Oh, I can see all the little lodges. They're so cute. Um, <laughs> you saw the trend. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think this is going to have very village of nature vibes, but just like slightly different it's theming. Look at that. Dee Dee Crockett. From Mickey, chipping down. We have arrived somewhere totally new for us. Dean's just hi, eating some what's-its in the car. <laughs> so both feeling a little bit peckish. Oh yeah, sorry, I've got the keys in my bag. So there is an on-site buffet restaurant, which actually looked really nice. Um, it was- things as well. Yeah, it was one of the more reasonable ones, actually. I think it was like 39 euros, and then we'd have got the 15%. They did have some availability for today, but, We've booked the Manhattan for tomorrow. This wasn't meant to be a trip where we did loads of sit down. I think the Manhattan tomorrow is just a bonus. Yeah, um, nice. hopefully. Yeah, but there's a shop here. Fingers crossed, a magnet or a pin for the resort. Or both. Or both, yeah. Um, and, oh, this is actually really cool. It reminded the Cheyenne a little bit. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, look, they've got a bug insect hotel. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I can smell the um, swimming pools. Oh look, there we go, yeah, pool, restaurant, playground, saloon. Have a little wander. Two euros fifty. That would be the cheapest mini golf we'd ever played. No, I think it was two fifty at um, that one as well. Oh, Third look! It's so cute. It's a bit better shaped than the one that um, for his nature. Yeah, that's so cute. I don't think we'll be playing today. No. It's a little bit soggy. It's a bit it looks cool though. And then there is a massive. Oh, look because of poor conditions it's closed but there's a cute little play area here as well I didn't really know what to expect from it here actually but it's really cute you it almost does, it does feel like the Cheyenne yeah it does it's very chilled actually yeah and um, I sort of feel like this could be quite a nice like destination if you were coming to Disney for like three four nights maybe you could actually really have this as like a whole day yeah, especially little, if the weather was nice. Like next door as well. Yeah. The pool. Yeah, I'm really excited about the pool. We've got more Disney yeah, to it, which we love. There's even a campfire and probably marshmallows. I think that must be the dinner place. That be the bar. Yeah, and then the swimming pool, and then we're going to have a quick look in the trading outpost. Need some milk. Mm. Oh, they've got the dog and cat stuff. Look, we could get Digby some ears. I mean, he'd hate us. And they're 15 euros, but the little bowl is cute though. He's got the big one, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. That's cute though. That's only 14.99, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's got cats and dogs on it. <laughs> You've got all of the essential bits and pieces. Oh, look, they do Disney pasta. And they do quite a lot in here, actually. They've got some snacks. Oh, they've got Disney candy. This is new. They didn't used to do this. How much is the bonbon de stitch? Four euro. God, that those laces at home are like 30 pay. <laughs> you won't have seen it on our Hawaii vlogs yet, but in Hawaii, a box of cornflakes not that much bigger than this was ten dollars. So the fact that this is three euros ten is positively cheap. It's expensive. Yeah, but. <laughs> Positively cheap compared yeah. to where we've been. Well, it wasn't difficult though, was it? <laughs> yeah, this is true. Oh, look, yeah, we wanted to get something for dinner, I think, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, look, they do like, um, we could get some pasta or what else have they got? We did want to get some milk, so that's good. I can see some milk. Two euros for that. I wonder if that's because. Do we maybe not have an oven? No, we do have an oven, I think. Yeah. Yeah, stuff can be down here, just... <laughs> <laughs> That mini is cute, and look at the Mickey. It's cute in his little pumpkin gear. 26. <laughs> yeah. 35, 40 and... Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Imagine this is what Fort Wilderness is like. Oh my God. So we are in Big Bear Trail. We're right in the middle, which is pretty cool. It looks like there's nothing really that's walking distance. You have to drive. Um, I guess that's why they don't do a shuttle. Oh no, look, people are walking actually. So you yeah. can walk. There are little paths. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be the second one in on the right. So we're on the road, but yeah, we're in an accessible one. So we haven't got the porch, or not the porch, the, yeah. Is it, oh, wrong way. Yeah, it's just a, no. Oh. 
Oh, then we have to put the key in. Did I? Oh yeah, look, that little room is tiny. Oh, uh, yeah, it's really different, isn't it? Um, we need the key to uh, turn lights on. Dean is just working out the microwave because we picked up some dinner in the outpost shop and um, his lasagna takes 17 and a half minutes in the microwave. So <laughs> we're going to put that on because we want to go swimming, um, but we think that we need to eat before we go swimming. So we're in an adapted room. Um, so the configuration is different. We have one massive bedroom and we've got some bunk beds. So we will show you, although my camera is flashing, so we might have to show you in a minute. I might have to put you on charge. It's quite cute. Very basic, but it's quite cute. Speedy, speedy room tour. Sorry, stuff already out. We've just had dinner. <laughs> Who's over there munching a mini chocolate roll? Mm -hmm. Um from the shop you can get microwave meals so we got them got a microwave in here no oven but there is a hob and all like the essential utensils that you could need essential utensils. yep so, we'll so you come in on the left we've got a teeny tiny bunk bedroom which to be fair if you had kids they would probably quite like it as i say it works well for us because we won't even be using that then most of them come with two bathrooms. The usual setup is that you walk in, you've got one room that's got three single beds and one that's got a double bed. And like the three single beds have their own bathroom and the double bedroom has its own bathroom. Yeah. So they normally seek five or I guess six because yeah, maybe that like bed, that could be like a single bed. That would probably make sense. But yeah, say, it's yeah, but in here, say it's just the four, but everything else is configured the same. We've only got one bathroom, but it's a big bathroom, so it's like the room is this room. Yeah, so that's why that one's so small. But we've got it's a wet room, but it's a bit nicer than just sort of like a standard wet room. Um, then obviously toilet. We've got a load of these individual radiators, so it does get really like nice and warm in here. It's pretty tight. Um, and just sort of basic sink area. Then on to our kitchen, you've got a mini dishwasher. Um, you can get some washing up liquid for free from the shop, so that's what we're gonna go and do. In here is where you could have a pantry, so there's loads of storage. Um, and all of like the plates and bowls and things they just ask that you wash these up if you use them this is our room so we've got a couple of wardrobes i don't know if they're actually just shelves yeah that size just shelves but we have got a safe um oh no this one is one that you can hang bits up on but only short bits although it does look like it's also got oh is that like a oh that's clever look Oh, that's that's a, obviously that's to a, help. That'll, that'll down ah, I have never seen one of those before. That's actually really good. So that's really accessible. And then we've got a very, very low down bed. Bed test, see what you think. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I should be alright actually. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Mm, a bit of spring for that. <laughs> <laughs> we are the closest that you can be to like the entrance and exit to the loop but we're the furthest around if that makes sense one -way loop. So, yeah it's a one-way loop <laughs> so we had to go all the way around we're gonna see if there's a way that we can cheat the system a little bit because there's a fuel shortage here and we don't we can't waste any of those <laughs> miles um, and it's really quiet around here you might be able to hear it is very very noisy in here not from traffic or anything um it's a really chilled out place like even the fact that we're on the loop in i haven't heard a car no we can um, hear the rain yeah i was gonna say it is the rain it's absolutely chucking it down also all the log cabins are under trees so we have had a lot of banging of branches acorns, acorns yeah, under, under an oak tree, so. <laughs> yeah, banging down. So I think that the rain is actually really therapeutic. Is that yeah. the right word? Yeah. 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 
I, I think it's really calming. It's melodic, it? Yeah, I really like it. It's really chill. It's just the odd dun. Yeah, that's the dun. only thing. But as I say, we've got heaters. We've got everything that we could need. I think it's a bit basic. Um, I'm getting all flushed because it's got very warm in here. Yeah, um, electric mayo is pretty good in these cabins. Yeah, really good. I think I'm going to turn not, them down. We're not, pay, we're not paying for this. <laughs> well, we paid for it already, but we're not paying for the energy. So we can use as much as it as we want. Yeah. <laughs> So we are going to put our swimming costumes on, um, wrap up again, head outside and go for a swim. We won't the bar that's here has 10 euro pina coladas. Same pina coladas you'll buy at the um, Disneyland Hotel for $18 from our previous... Euros. Euros even. Well, it's basically the same now. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's all no. one for one. Um, yeah, which makes this place a lot cheaper. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, we are really noticing the price difference here. It's actually very nice. Yeah. Um, Four fifty for a Mickey Premium bar, as opposed to six fifty dollars. Yeah. Plus, we get twenty percent off in stores, which has come very in handy because our two dinners and milk for breakfast for the next two days came to like seven euro something, and we were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've waffled on for enough. I think. I um, well, well, a waffle. True. This is going to be a very chatty. Mickey uh, shaped. <laughs> this is going to be more chatty film bits where we can, as we're escaping the rain vlog anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Um, so yeah, we better go because it's open till ten. But if we don't go now, I'm going to lay on that bed and I'm going to fall asleep. I'll probably join it to be fair, but I want to go down the slide and I want to go down around the Blazer River and maybe get in the jacuzzi. Okay, well let's go. You'll be on my mind. I'll be dreaming about this.